welcome to another edition of Talk to Me, Jenny. All right. Uh, Eleanor asks, what made you write each book? Well, I wrote nine books. Or am I my ninth book? I'm not sure. Um, these are the ones I had in my dressing room, so I'll give you the quick rundown, Eleanor. Belly laughs. I wrote this because after I delivered Evan, I realized everybody lied about being how, what it's like to be pregnant. I didn't enjoy it. It hurt my body. Weird things happened to it. But the payoff was the most wonderful thing that ever happened in my life, Evan. So it made all those aches and pains and stretch marks and embarrassing things worth it. Let me go in order. What was next? Uh, baby laughs. I don't have baby laughs. Baby laughs was written after the first year of having the baby because we all know how hard it is. You lose your sleep. You lose your girlfriends who are single. Um, you start showing people baby pictures that don't want to see them. It's all those really fun anecdotes about being in the first year of motherhood. Then the next one I wrote was life laughs. This one, uh, that's why I'm pretty proud of. Um, it's, I, I wrote this, it was originally called marriage laughs, but, um, I was going through divorce. So I had to change it to life laughs, but it's a lot of anecdotal fun stuff about being a woman. And I wrote it inside of a neuropsychiatric unit. Not for myself, but for my son, Evan, who was diagnosed at the time. So that leads me to what happened. Why he was there at that neuropsychiatric ward um, hospital, I should call it. Louder Than Words is about uh, my journey with Evan, who is my own warrior, who has gone to hell and back to get where he's today. He's my hero. Then I wrote... View staff, please make your way to the back table for the production meeting. I meant the view. Um, then I wrote Mother Warriors, and this one it was about um, all moms um, that I had come across. Not all of them, but a lot of moms came to me with the same stories about their kids and their triumphs and their hell. And I thought I'd put it together so you can hear their stories too. I don't have healing and preventing autism, but that book is more of a how-to guide. How to heal your child who has maybe some conditions. Also how to prevent it if possible. Then I wrote Love, Lust, and Faking It. I wrote this uh, one month after my break up and it was really, really hard, but, um, I learned a lot on this journey of loving yourself and loving other people in this one. Then I wrote Bad Habits, <laughs> Confessions of a Recovering Catholic. And it's really my journey from the time I was little until today of kind of like my spirituality of, um, letting go of guilt and, um, finding things in my life that make me feel good about myself, loving myself, feeling complete, but there's a lot of anecdotal funny stuff in it. New book comes out next year. What, what? Hope that helps you all.